Hey guys, so I'm just checking up on my mealworm farming. Um, so they seem to have, they look a lot more um, bigger. And you have to go through and find the pupas. So every now and then you open the drawer and you will find a pupa and you will put it into the next drawer. So let me open this. And so I do have some pupas in this one that I've been putting in. So I've got quite a few, which I'm excited about. So I've just been kind of going through and finding my pupas and putting them into the next drawer, split them kind of like what you want to do if you want to try to do the farming and raise your mealworms you just kind of go through and a lot of them you'll see they're kind of at the top it's they're like a little bit white and so I have a lot actually um, so it takes a little while for you to go through and find them all. They they do tend to be at the top, so that's a good thing. Through all this oatmeal mess that I have going on. Um, so I've been finding quite a bit. Been finding a lot. So it's pretty simple. You're gonna wanna have all your worms in one with some oatmeal and some wheat bran. You can do either one or both or whatever. And then you're going to want to put potato and carrots in there. You can add like other veggies and stuff throughout the time. Um, but yeah, so you're going to just kind of want to look. See if you find any more. And separate them. It's pretty easy. Oh, I see one back here. Let's see if I can get to him. Oh, he's actually forming. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what's going on with this one. Put them back right there for a minute. A lot of them are forming. It, and it took about, it probably took about three weeks, maybe two and a half, maybe three weeks for this to happen. When I received my worms, they were small. They were not um, big. They were not big worms, so they were small. So it took them a while to get to this point. Um, but every day, you just kind of got to go through and find the little guys. Here's one right here. I found another one. And then you just put the pupas down here. And the pupas don't really do anything. They might look like they're dead to you, but they're not dead. They just kind of do that. That's their stage. And then they turn, when they're ready, they'll turn into beetles. Then you're gonna wanna move your beetles down to this area, to this section. And then you're gonna wanna look at your beetles and in through the debris and if you start seeing, because they're, they're going to lay eggs. And if you start seeing little worms moving around in here, you're going to have to scoop up those worms and put them up, up at the top with the worms. So that's kind of like what you're going to do. So you just kind of make sure they always have carrots, a potato, an apple, a piece of celery something in there for them to gnaw on. You're also going to want to make sure you have some cardboard. You can do toilet paper rolls. You don't have to do egg cartons. You can do toilet paper rolls. So that's pretty much it. And so you can label. You can do your worms, your pupas, and your beetles. And you just kind of check on them every day and make sure you're separating them because you don't want them to start eating each other if they're not separated properly. All right, guys. 
I hope you enjoyed this and it helped you if you wanted to start your own worm farm.